Hi everyone! I haven't done a tag video in a while and I really enjoy doing them and I've wanted to do some more talky videos for a while so I thought I would find a tag and I've been searching for one that I found interesting and I found the Would You Rather Beauty tag and I know this went around quite a while ago, like four years ago but I really liked it so I'm going to do it now. So question one is, would you rather lose all of your mascaras, eyeliners, lipsticks and lip glosses or all of your palettes and eyeshadows? And for me, I would rather lose my palettes and eyeshadows because if I had to pick one makeup product that I couldn't live without, it would be mascara. And I love my lipsticks and I'm very big on eyeliner as well. And I kind of feel like if you have like the pencil eyeliners, you can blend them out so you could still do that. And you can fill in your brows with a pencil or like with a coloured mask, like with a brown mascara if you've got brown eyebrows or whatever colour your eyebrows are. So I would say I'd rather lose all of my palettes and eyeshadows. Number two, would you rather chop off all of your hair or never be able to cut it again? And this is really difficult for me because the question kind of implies that if you cut it all off, obviously you know it would grow back and then you could cut it as and when you wanted. So you could have it at whatever length you wanted, whenever, you just have to go and have it short for a short period of time. But I would be terrified of having like basically no hair. I have really long hair and I've been growing it for a while and I don't have it cut that often because I hate having my hair cut. I'd probably want to choose to never have it cut again, but I think my head would take over and say, logically you have to have it chopped off now and then it'll grow back healthier and it'll grow back to the length it was but I'm always afraid that it's not going to grow back and I know it will but... so I'd probably, I'd rather never be able to cut it again but if I actually had to choose I would have it all cut off Would you rather have a coral cheek or a pink cheek? I would probably go with pink that seems to be the one I wear more often I don't really wear blush very much anyway so I'd probably go with the pink Would you rather apply lipstick as eyeliner or eyeliner as lipstick? I would say eyeliner as lipstick because most of the colours I wear are quite dark and I know you can get dark lipsticks which you could use as eyeliner but I'm really bad for like rubbing my eyes so I have to have quite like foolproof eyeliner and lipstick just wouldn't cut it so it would smudge too much for me so I would have to have eyeliner as lipstick and then you can get a, like a matte look and you can use gel liners and things like and liquid eyeliners and I like a dark lip anyway, so I'd rather have eyeliner as lip thick. Would you rather only shop at MAC or Sephora? I would probably say MAC because I spend more time looking at MAC products than anything else. Um, I have a massive love for their lipsticks and so I would probably say MAC. Would you rather only use one eyeshadow colour or one lip colour for the rest of your life? This is incredibly difficult because I really like my lipsticks but I feel like one eyeshadow colour is too limiting so I would have to say I'd rather use one lip colour because when you do one look you do multiple eyeshadow colours anyway so I'd say one lip colour because you can kind of get away with that and you'd have to be like a bold red because that tends to be what I wear most often. Would you rather wear winter clothes in summer or summer clothes in winter? I prefer like the style in winter and I like when everything gets a bit darker but it would be much worse to wear it that way around. I think it would be much like, I don't know, I think it would be because I wear a lot of really really warm things in the winter because it gets really cold where I live. The difference between summer and winter here is too big to be wearing winter clothes in summer but you could get away with wearing summer clothes in winter and if you could wear like tights and boots with them and I quite like my summer style so I think I'd have to go with summer clothes in winter. Would you rather have dark nails or bright nails all year round? Definitely dark nails. I'm a big dark nails person. I love dark nails and actually I do probably have dark nails most of the year. Would you rather give up your favourite lip product or your favourite eye product? I would definitely give up my favourite lip product because my favourite eye product is my eyeliner and it would be such a hassle for me to find another eye product that works like my eyeliner. It would like It's taken me years to find it and I haven't changed it for years now. Whereas my favourite lip product changes kind of with the season or every year. It doesn't stay the same for longer than about three months. So I think I would be able to find a, an alternative favourite lip product but not an alternative favourite eye product. 
Would you rather only be able to wear your hair in a ponytail or in a messy bun? This is really difficult for me because I wear both quite a lot and I think I'd probably go with ponytail just for the sheer ease of it because I like, my hair's quite long so you, it can be like, I think you can do more with a ponytail in a way than you can with a messy bun and you can kind of like jazz it up with cool hair scrunchies and have like a high ponytail or a low ponytail and you can have it sleek whereas a messy bun is always going to be a messy bun. So I think I would go with a ponytail and that's kind of what I wear a lot of the time when I do sports so that probably makes more sense as well. Would you rather never be able to paint your nails again or never use lip gloss? I would rather never use lip gloss. I don't really use lip gloss anyway. I'm more into lip balms and lipstick. I don't think I've used lip gloss in probably about three or four years, so I wouldn't mind, but I'm never without nail varnish. Would you rather shave your eyebrows and have none at all or sharpie them in every day? This is really difficult for me. Until recently, I didn't fill in my brows. I was always quite a natural brows person and I don't fill them in all the time now anyway. I'm quite comfortable with them the way they are. I couldn't have no brows at all because I have really dark eyebrows and it's kind of quite a statement on my face. So I think I would sharpie them in because you'd have to get one of those really fine sharpies and do it really like painstakingly every day. But I guess if you had no, no eyebrows then you would painstakingly do it every day if it mattered to you. Would you rather live without makeup or nail polish? I don't tend to go a day without nail polish and I will go a day without makeup but I would have to say I would rather go without nail polish than without makeup. I don't, I don't actually think I could deal without makeup. I'll happily go to uni without makeup and for now I can see why you would choose to wear makeup and not nail varnish but I can't see why you would choose to always have nail varnish and not makeup. I, I don't know. I always have nail varnish on but I guess it's not something you put on every day. I think I would feel a bit too insecure without my makeup so I would have to say I can't live without makeup and I could live without nail varnish although it would be really difficult. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me and what I can and can't live without. I really enjoyed this tag, I thought it was really fun and I'm hoping to do more tag videos soon. So if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. Also, all my social media links are down below and I will see you again soon. Bye!